All right, guys, you can see we actually got the house cleaned out on day two. I'll show you guys all the rooms is empty. The kitchen's empty. Everything in the drawers is now empty. Um, all this you can see is empty. Um, we had so many different pantries we had to clean out, but look at this. All cleaned out. Everything's cleared out. I'm just giving you guys a walk through here. Bathroom cleared out. Bedroom. See, it's all cleared out. You can see everything cleared out. Bathroom here is cleared out. Cleared out. All right, guys. You can see the bottom is done. If you guys don't remember what it looked like, I'll go ahead and clip that right now and you can see the difference, but yeah. You can see the difference, but yeah. Bottom basement is now done on day two. Um, you can see this tool room here. This was completely full. We swept up every like crumb. There's an entire, entire thing there. Um, in here, see it's completely empty. Um, basically we're picking up the last few things in there, but yeah, so that's this room completed um, Again as we're cleaning up the top half today, I'll clip to uh, what it looks like when it's done Hey guys, probably what you could tell already is that We finished that job. It took us two full days. Not bad. Actually. We were pretty happy about it in between that I probably got about five calls six calls for jobs but i had to turn them away because if i haven't said it already that my new truck broke down the day after i got it um so i've been trying to balance trying to get that fixed or figured out through the dealership try to get my money back for my down payment and at the same time trying to be at this house so it's just a lot of stuff happening and then i um you know it's actually really cool one of the guys that follows this channel um, in my area, he started his own junk removal business. He came and got me and took me uh, back to this dealership to get my old truck back. So I have my old truck back now and I'm getting my money back. It's just gonna take a few days. So I have to cancel a bunch of jobs, at least for another week or so. So I may not be filming just because, um, yeah, I'm trying to get my own stuff sorted out so I can get some jobs or get my truck done so I can start getting some jobs. So yeah. No, I appreciate you guys following along the journey. It's just, you know, it's just part of the, the journey, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what else I can say. It's just I'm trying here. So uh, thanks, guys, for watching and supporting me and making this dream a reality. I'll be in touch soon. See ya. All right, guys, this is the new trailer. If you haven't seen it yet. So we had to trade our 5x8 uh, utility trailer for this 6x10. Um, it's pretty long actually it's way way bigger than uh what i thought but what i like the most is how long this is because you could just see when i put my hand there like how long it is you know so i can definitely put like a big uh tool chest just right there actually i have a my my one for my truck because i got that new truck that i'm hoping that they're gonna fix um now that i don't have it um i could probably just bolt this across it you know on there and then then i keep my tools and crap in there so that's it's just kind of cool actually so yeah so it's really big and then look these come up you know you guys can't see me but it comes up pretty high so i think it's actually higher than the walls i had on my other one so it's pretty cool 